everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. And in today's video, I asked you guys basically on Instagram to send me in some of your questions. If you don't follow me on Instagram, stop right now, go on the app, type in Persian Bunny, it's across the screen, hit that follow button. I do lives and I talk to you guys through my stories and DMs and all of that stuff, plus there's pictures of me. So if you guys want to keep up with me, follow me there. Um, but yeah, I asked you guys on my Instagram story um, to ask me some questions and I said that they can be like as general as possible. It could be asking me about advice, you could ask me questions about my life or your life, relationships, boys, anything. And I've got a bunch of questions back and we're just going to work our way through it peeps. We're going to talk it through. Let's see if I can, I don't know, dish out some advice or talk about my life. And yeah, I feel like we haven't done this in ages. So, I have a question is, how old does your boyfriend have to be? Um, I don't know why I went through this phase where I really felt like I needed to be, like if I was talking to a guy, like he needed to be like at least like four or five years older than me because I felt like the guys that were my age just weren't I don't know, like, I, not that they weren't like serious or like anything like that, but I just feel like the way I thought was just a completely different way to the way that they think and mentality. But anyway, time, a few months has shown me that actually it's got nothing to do with age and it's really to do with like what, where that person's at at that moment in time. So there's no age, I think so long as you're my age or older, that's fine. I feel like if I date someone who's like much younger than me, that would just be like not okay because I feel like I would be much more like mentally like mature than them. So yeah. Will you be filming any makeup tutorials in the future? Um, yes, I will. I've gotten so many requests for makeup tutorials recently, so I really want to film like one. Apparently, like you guys are really liking my makeup in like the past couple weeks. It's really weird. Like as in, it's only been in the past couple weeks. I don't know. I've changed but I'll try and film it so that it doesn't change by the time I film that video. So yeah, that'll probably be my next video that you guys will see. How old are you? Love you so much. Love you too. I'm 23. A lot of people asking, do you have a boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. Um, yeah, that seems to be the thing that stays the same <laughs> with these cute names, as I don't have a boyfriend. Um, that's not to say, by the way, that like, I do or don't want a boyfriend, it just means like I haven't met someone who I feel like is someone who I want to be with like in a long term and I don't see the point in like, did I have something on my lips this whole time, I'm really sorry. I don't see the point in like just seeing someone if there's like no future, so yeah I'd, I'd want, if I have a boyfriend I'd want it to be someone who I can like introduce to my family, maybe even introduce to my YouTube family, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm not really in like a rush to be like, yeah, like let me just date you and see how it goes or whatever. Next question, how to cut off a toxic friend? Ugh, trust me, I've dealt with my fair share of these sis. What you need to do is you need to phase them out. So like don't just cut them off instantly. Like you need to slowly, slowly like stop like just don't reply to their text messages as quickly, don't answer their phone calls straight away and stuff, and like, um, don't make yourself as available to them. If you go to school with them, I guess it's more difficult, I don't know how old you are, or if you work with, with the toxic person. Um, but yeah, just like, change your group of friends. Like, let's say if like the person is like who you used to spend like all of your time with, find a new person, or go to like the library and read some books, because trust me, those books will get you further in life than those toxic friends. Any bad breakups? No, Touchwood. Nope. Uh, what do you eat in a day? Well, I pretty much just stuff my face with pasta right now because I'm having a bit of a meh day and obviously that always like can happen to anyone so don't forget that you can have like bad days and good days and you shouldn't eat your feelings. I took my dog for a walk, which was good and um, I had some pasta and for breakfast I had toast um, and yeah, I'm gonna go gym because I feel like gym always makes me feel good and seeing my friends always makes me feel good. So yeah, if any of you guys, this was kind of a joint, what do you eat in a day with how to get over a bad day. Um, I listen to positive energy tapes um, and read positive energy books, go to the gym, see your friends 
and yeah, distract yourself. That is how I get over a bad day. Would you ever do a meet up in London? I don't know, like as in, is there enough people in London who want to see me? Uh, I would love to. The other day someone said hi to me on the train. Um, hi if you're watching this. And uh, that like literally made my whole morning. Like she said to hi to me at like 7.30 in the morning. I was like, you've made the whole day great now. Um, so yeah, thanks so much. Um, yeah, I would love to do a meet up, but I don't know how many people will come. So let me, let me know guys if you're interested. Were you ever bullied as a kid being Middle Eastern or bilingual? I was bullied, but not for being Middle Eastern or bilingual. I remember when I was in year three, I joined a new school and um, the kids all already had their friends and stuff. And um, they started bullying me saying my eyes were too big. Um, and like, I was actually like the only Iranian, like my school was a lot of like, um, Eng like, like it wasn't really as multicultural like as you would expect like a British school to be. Actually, to be fair, I'm lying because there was a lot of kids like in my area from like Japan and like, um, there were like some Turkish people, um, weren't many like Arab Middle Easterns. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I got bullied for having big eyes. Um, but then I found my best friend um, and that's where I kind of became confident. But yeah. Oh, I also got re-bullied again in secondary school. Um, and then again, I found my best friend and um, that's where I became really confident. So there's like a silver lining with everything. Like being bullied is actually horrible. And the people who bully you, they don't end up happy. Trust me, I'm 23 now. I've seen the lives of the people who bullied me. A, most of them beg friend me now. Like beg friend me, I'm not even joking with you. Um, and I'm just like, mm, if you're an evil as a child or as a teenager, do I want to be your friend? No. But second of all, they have a lot of life issues themselves. They have stuff going on that you don't have any idea about. Everyone does, so you know, don't be mean to people. But um, yeah, bullies are just, you know, they're just so much worse off, so yeah. Don't, don't think that like just because they look like the cool kids now that they're going to be the cool kids. They really, really never, ever, ever end up being the cool kids. I promise you. I like, I remember my sister used to tell me this when I was like younger. She was like, I promise you like these people will beg to be your friend when you're older or like <clears throat> they'll like wish that like, you know, they could hang out with you. And, so, and I'd be like, oh my God, shut up. Like, no, they weren't. And I'd be crying and all this. And like, I swear to God, it's true. Um, so yeah, it's all about the energy and vibe you give off. Most important thing to look for in a potential man, any views on long distance relationships? Hmm, okay, so I think three most important things for me, and like this is my cardinal rule, um, is you've got to have trust, respect, and loyalty. Um, and you have to see that in the person too. So if they respect you, like they treat you like a lady or they treat you like a gentleman, um, and they are like, respect like if they're trusting like you know they don't question where are you going who are you going out with like not like in a like obviously it's normal to ask where you're going hang out with but you know what i mean like if they don't seem like they're constantly just like distrusting and whatever and also if they show loyalty to you um you know just if someone pays them attention they're not exactly gonna like just go with the attention then yeah that's the three best qualities you can find not just in a partner but also in friends as well um, but yeah, I think for me, those are the three most important things to look for in a potential man. And um, on top of all that, you have to gel, like you have to have a vibe. When the two of you are together, like you need to feel like, oh my God, there is no one else I would be having this much fun with, or be this happy with, or be this comfortable with than I am with you right now. So that's what I think. As for long distance relationships, um, I've never like had one or um, like never, yeah, it's not really come up for me. So I don't know like if it would like, I can't, I don't feel like I can say like, oh, it's good or it's bad if I have, haven't got any experience on it. I feel like it depends on the scenario. Like how long were you guys together? And then were you like, you know, separated because one of you moved or like, were you separate from the start? Uh, how long until you decide to like join up and like live together like have you made plans of that have you spoken about that because I feel like those are the things that's important um, rather than like the trusting and stuff like that because that should have been a given from the start so yeah do you know any Albanian I really like Persian people mostly guys lol they're so hot <laughs> I don't know any Albanian and I'm glad you think Persian guys are hot I will pass that note on to a lot of my friends <laughs> um yeah, sorry, I don't know any any Albanian. Oh my god, there's so many questions and I lost my space. Ah!
Uh, next question. <clears throat> What A-levels have you done? I did biology, chemistry, economics, maths, and Persian, and I got four A's and a B. <laughs> this question's good. Have you ever considered going vegan? Kim and I um, did a vegan food trying um, thing, uh, video challenge. Um, watch that, it's linked down below. Um, I don't think I could go vegan, as in, I get like loads of people do it for like ethical reasons and this and that and I feel like it's everyone's own choice personally and I don't think I could go vegan but never say never. Uh, what's the best way to stay positive? I think I just answered that before when I was saying about how I'm having like a blur day and I like to distract myself so right now I'm like filming my YouTube video, I took my dog for a walk, like going out to work and everything and then um, listening to positive energy tapes, I like listening to music, sometimes it's even like good to like let's say like, let your feelings out, let's say if someone's made you really mad and you're angry like you know let that anger out not at someone but you know what i mean like or if you're feeling sad and you want to cry it's okay to cry but like don't hold on to the negativity once you've let it out let it go and like start like you know being positive and going back to like distracting yourself seeing your friends going to the gym and doing all the things that you like and enjoy best tips on staying organized and balancing uni life struggles of the law student xx good on you girl keep studying keep going and achieving your goals um so like balancing is all about like splitting your time well so knowing how many hours you have in a day and if you need to wake up earlier wake up earlier if you need to go to bed li uh, earlier or later go to bed earlier or later make sure you make time to like see your friends and go out because if you just stay at home and study all the time then you're going to get depressed so you know give yourself a solid like two three hours every evening to go and whether that's watch your favorite netflix show or go and see your friends or whatever because so long as you're not in exam season you know you deserve that free time to relax um i'd say like when you're not in exam season only aim to study like two hours a day not more because you know it's about work-life balance if you've had a full day of going to work and then you're studying two hours on top i think you've done enough um but that's just my way of thinking about it um yeah and go with what you think is right as well i remember when I was in my third year and I was vlogging, or was I in my fourth year, people used to message me and be like, oh my god, how do you study medicine and you have time to go out all the time and vlog on YouTube and upload it and like, you know, do all of this, like, how? And I remember I literally sat down at one point and I was like, oh my god, how am I doing all of this, like, crap? And then I kind of opened my eyes and realised, wait a second girl, you made it this far to get into med school get all the way through to third year or fourth year, whatever I was at that point, because I'm in my final year now. Um, and you do all these other things and you're gonna let other people who can't figure out how you made it here question and doubt yourself. Mm -mm -mm. So don't ever doubt yourself. You know what's best for you. Don't let other people tell you how to manage your time or do what's best or blah, blah, blah. You'll know yourself. And um, yeah, go with your gut. Also, I think, <laughs> it's gonna sound so bad. But like boys can be distracting or girls can be distracting. Um, so like make sure if someone is like in your life that they're not like distracting you from what's important. Cause I know what it's like where like you could be like in a lecture or something like that. And like, you're just thinking about, oh, why did he message me this? Or why hasn't she texted me back? And they went out last night and this and that and da da da. So don't let, like, if you have that sort of toxicity, like, around you where, like, you're just constantly thinking, like, someone's on your mind for all the wrong reasons, you've got to cut them out too because that gets in the way of your studying. And at the end of the day, you're still, like, young and you still want to get to places. And you, if people are already getting in your way, then what's going to happen when you have even bigger goals and dreams? So don't let anyone get in the way and don't let anything distract you. Sometimes I feel like when I answer these questions, like, I'm giving so much info at once, like, I'm jumping, like, I have flight of ideas. Oh, my God, guys. Literally hit me. Okay. Ooh, this one's a long one. Hi, Seppi. My question's long, so I need to send it through DM. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I know a boy for two years, and both of us are med students, but he is three years older than me. During the last two years, we've been chatting a lot. In the beginning, we used to chat every day, but as time goes on, we chat a bit less, maybe three times a week. And when we have exams, we chat at least once a week. He mentions me as one of his best friends, and sometimes he's so flirty and calls me baby. On the other hand, sometimes he acts like we're just friends, and I told him as... I'm not officially his girlfriend, he must not call me baby and it bothers me. Last year on Valentine's Day he got me a gift. I love him but I really don't know how he feels about me. I'm confused and can't concentrate and I'm sick and tired of this situation. 
I don't want to lose him, but at the same time, I don't want to fool myself and waste my time on him. If he really doesn't love me, what should I do? I don't want to make the first move. Should I leave him? Okay, so let me give it to you real, sis. With guys, if they're into you, then they will show you they're into you. And usually you'll notice that at first when, you know, they're, they're on the chase. They text you good night. They text you good morning. They'll send you memes. They'll want to come pick you up from wherever on earth you are. Like, clearly I sound like I'm coming from a place of experience. But what I'm trying to say is if they're into you, like in the beginning or whenever, then they'll show you. And if you're questioning if they're into you or not, they're probably not into you enough. And it's because maybe they think they already have you. Maybe they've got their eyes on someone else. I don't know. And I know that's not something that you want to hear. It's not, not something that all of us want to hear but any of us want to hear, but if you're not sure if they like you enough, you've got one of two options. You can either tell them, this is how I feel about you, um, and I just feel like it's kind of obvious, so you should know, and yeah, like, what are we going to do about it? Or B, you can just ignore him because clearly he's not giving you all the attention that you want and when he does come back to you just you know be like well you can't pick and choose so you, you're either in or you're out i think that's the best two scenarios that are out there and plus when you kind of leave him to it and you'll be like sad for the first few days but then you'll actually feel a sense of relief like oh now I'm not sitting here every night wondering like, oh my God, is he talking to another girl? Like, is he going to message me? Are we going to meet up? Blah, blah. Am I going to be disappointed? You actually get a sense of relief. So yeah, that's my advice. By the way, guys, feel free to like chime in on the advice in the comments. Like if you hear a question that you feel like you can give advice to, I love when like all of my little Persian bunnies all talk to each other. I don't know if I'm going to call my followers Persian bunnies. I don't know why I came up with that, but yeah. Where do you see yourself in five years? P.S. Love your videos, XO. Thank you so much. In five years time, I would like to think that I'm quite ahead of my career. So I'd like to think that I'm still on YouTube. I don't know, I like making videos. I do it as like my hobby and I really, really enjoy it. And I've managed to meet so many of you guys like through it and talk to so many of you guys through it and people all over the world. So I feel so special. So yeah, I'd hope to still be on YouTube. And I'd like to be progressed in my medical career. Um, so hopefully specializing. And this isn't one that's gonna be new to like a lot of people's ears, but I might want to move out of the UK. Um, I'm not sure. It's still just like a thought that's come to me, but I'm really sitting down and thinking like, what's stopping me from like moving away and like what's really keeping me here kind of thing and I'm quite young I'm 23 so I have room to you know experiment and I don't know explore the world so yeah we'll see if you got stuck in an elevator and was forced to listen to only one song which would it be this is the most epic question I've been sent <laughs> I actually like that one um Something without any words, so maybe like um, one of like Beethoven's like symphonies or something, um, because then you can't get bored. Do you know what I mean? If you constantly have the same lyrics going over and over and over again, you'd go mad. So yeah, I'd pick something like that, like Beethoven. What are your secret skills? Well, if I told you, they wouldn't be a secret, would they? <laughs> What's your take on the meaning of life? Oh my god, I feel like that is like so intense for me to think about on a Tuesday afternoon. Um, but I think... I don't know what I think on the meaning of life. I'll have to come back to you on that one. Are you hoping to end up with a Persian man or you don't mind what nationality? So, like, generally speaking, from, like, people that I've spoken to, like, I've realised I'm more, like, attracted to guys who were from like let's say like middle eastern background or even like so like arabic iranian uh greek turkish because i feel like we have a lot of similarities like in terms of like culture but then we also a bit slightly different so i can learn new things as well um so yeah that's kind of the vibe that i've always been like attracted to not to say that i 
will never be attracted to someone from like a different uh, background but from my past experience I feel like that's what I've liked so far but you never know you never know who you end up with Ooh, how do you and your sisters deal with arguments with one another so for, have you seen those memes when they're like when you argue and then you come back and just you don't apologize that like you just continue like nothing happened sometimes it's like that sometimes like it will be like we're arguing over like for example like oh I don't think you should do this it's not good for you and like the other person be like it's not your choice it's not your life and then we'll sit down and we'll actually like talk about it after and like we'll have a discussion and a heart to heart and all of that um, we actually had one of those this weekend. So yeah, it happens frequently. I think the best thing is to be like open and like talk to one another like uh, with your family and like always just like, you know, be comfortable enough to chat to them about anything and like talk through your problems. Don't just kind of brush it under the carpet. If you get mad at each other, don't stay stubborn because that's not good either. How do you keep yourself away or focus from guys who want to have fun and not date? Uh. <laughs> um. So, I think the most important thing is first you have to realize like a hundred percent that um, the person is only after you to have fun and not want to date. So you don't want to brush them off really quickly. So just suss them out a bit, and then if you see that you know they just kind of not serious then you have to cut them out i feel like with boys you have to be really uh, this is not just boys actually this is just like in general whether it's like fake friends boys whatever if you don't want someone in your life anymore then you need to really like diplomatically like phase them out of your life so like don't reply to their well, well i guess with with boys that it didn't work out you don't really owe them much so just kind of like be really dead on text and don't answer their phone calls um but like yeah with fake friends just phase them out slowly and yeah that's the way but don't don't get caught up in the whole like your feelings at first because it's so easy to be like oh my god we talk all the time he wants to take me here we've been out there blah blah, blah. and then when he starts ghosting you you're like oh my god but i remember when we went here and we spoke till 4am about this like get over it sis he probably does it to loads of girls if he's really good at it then you know you don't want to be just one of the 10 millions of girls that he's done this to and you'll just move on and find someone who just wants to talk to you celeb crush okay so my recent obsession i last month started watching power and surprise surprise i'm on the final season season six and i am obsessed like ob obsessed with Tommy Egan um so I was telling my dad and my mom about this and they're like you're actually crazy because I was like he's so loyal like he's just so loyal that there's nothing more attractive than that like he is so loyal to like ghosts that like if anyone like fucks over ghosts he's like eh -eh, you're dead literally i mean I, I think that's a bit much but like edson i think that that's such an attractive characteristic to have and like when he was like with like um holly and like she was like he's like a one woman man i like that as well um like he doesn't mess about even though he easily could so that's my celeb crush but he's kind of like a fake character isn't he so for like physical looks crush it's got to be beyond like he is beautiful be is for beautiful and be young. I really hope he doesn't watch my videos or I'm just so freaking cringe. <laughs> Last question. I'll make it a fun one. What is your dream date? So this is so easy, hands down for me. My dream date would be to go watch Harry Potter in theater. Um, I'm gonna sound like a weirdo online, but I freaking love Harry Potter. So if I could go see it in theater, that would be my dream date. And then like the next level of that, like let's say that was a like a date like just standard with dating or whatever then like the next level dream date of that would be um to go to new york to the top of the empire state building like chuck bass and blair did in gossip girl so those are my two like dream dates in my life that i have to have at some point well i don't have to but as in i'd love to have at some point so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of sit down chit chat if you enjoyed it then please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this tell me in the comments because i read all of your comments and i try to reply to as many as i can so yeah 
get chatting with me i would love to hear from you don't forget to check out my socials they're always linked down below but my instagram is pageant bunny and my snap is seppi samai i love you all so 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 much and i'll see you next time bye